What is going on guys, welcome back to another rugby video on the channel and yes, today I'm going to be reviewing the games which we had today. I'm not going to be doing them individually because there's a lot to cover, so I thought I'd just merge them all into one video and then we'll just talk about it. Welcome back to another video on the rugby channel, please make sure you go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the notification button, as well as please go ahead and follow us on our social media platforms to be up to date with the channel. Okay, so the first game we're going to be talking about, which was the first game of today, which was Australia versus Fiji. Now, I didn't actually get up to watch that one in full. I did watch the extended highlights, though. And, yeah, it was a very, very interesting game. Fiji looked a really adamant and good force. And, uh, to be fair, I think they are going to be a massive threat to every team in this group. Uh, Australia, in the end, kind of finished out the game. But Fiji, at times, did look like they were going to win it. And, to be fair, they shocked everybody. They are a massive underdog. And as a Wales fan, I kind of fear them as well. Uh, it was a very good game to watch. They scored, uh, well, they both scored some really good tries. Uh, but in the end, I think, I don't know, Australia were just the, the better team towards the last couple of minutes and finished the game off. But overall, a very exciting game to watch. Very, well, very good first opening for today game as well. And uh, yeah, to be honest, I was quite impressed how Fiji played. They really shocked a lot of people. We kind of knew... Fiji were good, uh, but in like previous years and stuff, they haven't been the team they, they used to be. And this World Cup, they've really shown up so far. So, fair play. I know I have a few Fijian fans, so fair play to Fiji. Uh, you did pretty, pretty well. And to be honest, you could easily beat Wales. Uh, and as a Welshman, I don't really want to be saying that, but it's very, very doable. Okay, so our next game was France versus Argentina. Now, I actually watched this one. And to be fair... Uh, I didn't watch the first half, right? And I checked my phone and the score said, uh, was it 20 points to 3? So, and then I got up 10 minutes after, went down to watch it, and like li literally I was so shocked to find that Argentina had caught up. Uh, and yeah, it was a really, really good game to see. Uh, and to be honest, I kind of, like without being biased, I kind of wanted to see Argentina win it because they had such a big comeback and uh, they got to the point where like they could have easily won it if they had had that kick go over uh but yeah it must have been gutting for the argentinian fans uh, but fair play to france again you won the game you obviously deserve to win because argentina had the chance they missed their kick so yeah you've got to take that away from them and there we are so that's why but france are deserved winners of that game uh going ahead into the other games i think both teams are going to be ones to watch because we didn't really learn too much about that because if it had been a draw which it was impossible to happen at that point but if it had been they were quite evenly matched teams anyway, uh, and a draw would, like, both teams would have taken that if it was possible. Uh, but yeah, as I said, it was close, very, very close, and uh, when they, I'd, I'd like to see what the outcome is going to be when they both play England, because uh, I feel like that is going to be the, the decider between the two of them. Uh, but yeah, very interesting game, very exciting, end-to-end uh, -end stuff, and fair play, Argentina caught up, but again, they didn't get the win, so disappointing. Uh, but as a French guy, if you are, well, I have a few French followers, uh, well done to you. Okay, so next up we're going to talk about the last game which was played, which was a massive game, and that was New Zealand versus South Africa. Uh, and South Africa started off playing the much better team and the much better rugby. New Zealand looked really sloppy at the start, uh, and then they had two unanswered tries against South Africa. It was a break-in play, and they just ran down the field. Uh, again, it was quite a good game to watch as a rugby, only true rugby fan. Uh, then the second half, I kind of felt South Africa lost their sort of spring, if that makes sense. And, uh, they weren't the team that was being played in the first half, uh, which was quite a shame. Uh, and the New Zealand just took the game to them and, yeah, just the more, I wouldn't say dominant, but I would say they were the better force out of the two of them in the end, uh, which is a shame. But we didn't learn too much about that game. Yes, we learned that South Africa... Made a few mistakes that they need to definitely work on. And New Zealand were the better team. Uh, but we also learned that New Zealand were in, in key areas. New Zealand were kind of not lacking. But they were... Well, both teams were kind of sloppy. And to see New Zealand be doing that as well as of recently. Because a lot of people thought Springboks was actually going to win today. Uh, and I actually thought that as well. Uh, and New Zealand kind of surprised me. Because we saw really good tries from them. Um... But again, I felt like there's still more to come from South Africa and New Zealand. And I felt like, yes, it was a good game to watch, but it wasn't exactly the best we've seen those two teams play. 
Uh, so, again, a lot of people are saying that those two teams will be in the final. Uh, it already depends on how they play in the next couple of games. Uh, I think South Africa need to improve on stuff, and so do the All Blacks. Uh, but in some areas, I felt like they were matched today between the two of them. South Africa's scrum looked pretty good, to be fair. But then on other, ti other times, then New Zealand's scrum looked better. Uh, so it was it was weird. Like some key areas, it was like 50-50. Uh, then it was like 40-60. And then towards the end, it was kind of like, I don't know, 70-30 or something like that. But yeah, it was a good game to watch. If you didn't see it, go ahead and watch it a full game or on highlights because it was very entertaining. Uh, I would say out of the three games today, the most exciting one was probably... Mm, I'm going to say France versus Argentina because it was literally so close all the way up to the end. Uh, New Zealand versus South Africa was good and so was Fiji and Australia. Uh, but France versus Argentina had that sort of, you're sitting on the edge of your seat like, oh my god, who's going to win this game sort of thing. Whereas the other two, we kind of knew who was going to win in the last like five minutes. So yeah, without further ado guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Please make sure you go ahead and leave a like and comment. Let me know what you thought. Uh, what, what was your favourite game of today? Please let me know in the comment section. So well, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. We upload rugby videos every single week, and I will be reviewing every single game of this World Cup. Whether it'll be separate or in one video like today, I don't know. Uh, it already depends on what time I have and stuff. But yeah, I will be reviewing every single game. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification button to be notified when I upload, and follow me on social media. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and join our Facebook group. The name is here. If you just type that in and click join, I will accept your application. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I've been Andrew. I will see you in another upload. Peace out, guys.